Hello, I'm Ryan F9 and here's some slick moto mods you can make at home. The giving season is behind us, and also in my rear view, what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a lovely homemade convex mirror. This is a welcome addition to any motorcycle, especially when waddling backwards out of a tight space or double checking a blind spot. And I only need a soda can, some chocolate, a rag, double sided tape, and scissors to make it happen which is great because ho ho, holy cow, am I sick of buying stuff. First cut the bottom off your soda can, tucking and trimming the sharp edges back towards the concave side. Then melt some chocolate in your hand, rub it on the convex side, and use the cloth to polish. Keep going until you can see a bubbly reflection, otherwise this hack is literally useless. Once polished, you trace the mirror onto some double-sided tape. And after that, I'm gonna cut just outside the lines like a C student in first grade. The extra material will help to secure the double-sided tape to the edges of the mirror. After that, just slap it on. And I've now got everything behind me in my own little fishbowl. Two thoughts. First, keep this hack in mind if you ever break down and get stranded, because by performing the same polish on the concave side, you can reflect the sun and start a fire. If you remember those sadistic little shits that used to burn ants with a magnifying glass, it works just like that. Second, you should know that it's possible to buy a convex sticky mirror for like seven bucks. Yes, it's easier. Yes, it's better. It's definitely clearer. And by the time you buy a Coke and a Cadbury bar, it's pretty much the same price. But where's the fun in that? I'll tell you where. Whilst playing with shiny things, I torched my retina. And now I get to wear these special glasses. Why can't we leave us one? But oh no, my helmet didn't come with eyeglass channels. No matter, Camden Thompson, who comments on YouTube and is therefore omniscient, suggests a clever hack to save the day. Remove a cheek pad, wrap an appropriately tensioned hair elastic around it. Et voila, eyeglass channels. But oh no, now I'm stealing other people's ideas, so everyone's gonna think Fort Nine is a phony. No matter, here's one of my own inventions to balance things out. It's an auto-lubricating key protector, and it does two things. The first is simple protection. I learned the hard way that even if you pack all the tool kits, survival kits, and patch kits in the world, you can still stick your key in your pocket, sit on it, snap it, and end up stranded in the bush. Secondly, motorcycle locks get stickier over time. The gunk from the road mixes with the gunk from your pocket, and all of a sudden this doesn't work so good. Solution. Take a sturdy, reusable straw, and then snip it to the appropriate length for your key. After that, we're just gonna spray some glue down the tube. Next, take some mechanical pencil refills, which Gen Y kids will definitely remember from their childhood, and stick a bunch of them down the tube. After that, I just wanna roll it around until the pieces of graphite stick to the inside. Like so, wait for it to be completely dry. Graphite is a good dry lubricant for locks, so you can guess where this is going. Every time I put my key in, a little bit of the graphite rubs off on the metal. And then when I go to start the bike, that lubricates the lock. And meanwhile, the plastic tube just offers that much more protection for the key when it's in my pocket. The hardest part is just finding a straw that's the right diameter. One pro tip is to choose something with a little bit of elasticity, just because that's gonna help to keep the key snug. And now you know how to make the life-saving, auto-lubricating key protector. But oh no, I spoke too soon and now my life is in danger all over again from a flat tire. No matter, most people know that you can use a bike's weight tilting onto the kickstand to break a bead. Of course, that's no help if I don't have a center stand as well. And what if I just have my kickstand? How do I break a tire then? Here's the hack. Take off your kickstand and look at the bottom. Most of these are hollow, so if you drill it out, you'll reveal the tube. Now I don't mind drilling through the foot because I put an aftermarket widener on the bottom of my side stand anyway. Otherwise, yes, if you drill up through the bottom of your kickstand, that will have it taking geology samples every time it touches down. Consider yourself warned. But with the hollow tube exposed, my kickstand can now act as a lengthening bar. I'm turning travel-sized tire irons into bead busters or mini wrenches into axle nut breakers. Best part is that you're always gonna have it with you. And usually they are very easy to remove. And that's it for DIY motorcycle mods. Thanks for watching.